Well, hi there everyone and welcome. Today's recipe is kind of an update or a twist on a classic. This is my Bisquick copycat recipe. It's a gluten-free copycat recipe that I have on my channel. And I'm gonna kind of update it and add some butternut squash, some milk powder, some sugar, and some pumpkin pie spice. And we're gonna make a sweet biscuit with this today. This is an incredible recipe. I hope you try it because it's delicious. So let's go back in time and let me show you how I made that Bisquick copycat recipe. I've got a food processor here. And if you don't have one of those, it's, it's okay. You can do this in a, in a large bowl with a fork. But to that, I add some of our gluten-free flour. Now you could use all-purpose flour here, but I like to use the Thrive Life gluten-free flour. And some butter powder, it's really for flavor. And then you add some salt, some baking powder, and just a little bit of sugar. So this is a basic copycat Bisquick recipe here. What you do is you kind of pulse or mix the dry ingredients together first, and then you add your fat. So my mama always used lard. You can use shortening if you want to, but you just pulse that a few times to combine it, and then it mixes into the dry ingredients and it kind of has the texture of sand. It's just the fat is very well distributed into the dry mix. And that is what you can store on your pantry shelf. But because the fat is in there, you can only store it for about three or four months. So put you a date on there, like a use by date. Okay, so that is the base that we're gonna start with. And then we're gonna add to it the butternut squash, which by the way is on sale this month. It's November, 2023. So I would grab some of that if I were you, it's fantastic. So you're gonna get about like a heaping cup, I think even a cup and a half, up to a cup and a half of the butternut squash. And you wanna blend that really well. Blend it into a fine powder. You don't want chunks of butternut squash in your biscuits, so blend it into a fine powder. And that will equal to somewhere between a third of a cup and a half of a cup of the powder that you're gonna add to the Bisquick biscuit mix. All right? So go ahead and pour that mix into a large bowl and add the squash powder to it. Because we're gonna make biscuits, you need to add some instant milk powder. And also, since it's a sweet biscuit, you're gonna add some more sugar. Now I added two tablespoons of sugar, but you could add up to four. It's just slightly sweet. It's not an overly sweet biscuit and then a teaspoon of a pumpkin pie spice or cinnamon, you could do apple pie spice, some sort of spice, and that's it. You just stir this really well to combine it. And since all of these ingredients are shelf stable, you could put this into a jar and store it on your pantry shelf. I actually forgot to take a picture of it. That's the, that's the picture of just the Bisquick mix, but it's the same idea. If you try this recipe and like it, you can store that on your pantry shelf for up to three or four months. And when you're ready to prepare it, you just add water. It's three quarters of a cup of water and that's it. It's a really simple recipe because the fat is already in the biscuit mix. So I wanted to show you, it doesn't take long for this to come together. This is not sped up at all. I just wanted to show you how quickly this comes together into a biscuit dough. Now with a gluten-free flour, you don't have to really worry about over mixing, but if you're using regular all-purpose flour, you just kind of want to mix it until it's combined and then don't over mix it. And you're gonna wanna let this dough rest while you preheat your oven. That will help hydrate the butternut squash and in our case, the gluten-free flour. All right, and then you'll get out a baking sheet, and I like to line mine with parchment paper because it makes cleanup really easy. And this is a drop biscuit recipe, so you're just gonna kind of drop. That's, a, 
I think that scoop is a half cup cookie scoop that I found. I got that at the Goodwill. <laughs> so I just kind of flattened out the tops a little bit and then you want to do a milk wash. This will help in the browning process and if you're like me and you really don't keep milk in the house anymore, grab you some instant milk from Thrive Life. I put a teaspoon of instant milk and a couple tablespoons of water and that was my milk wash. So this is what you're gonna put into a 400 degree oven. And I cooked my biscuits for 15 minutes and that was perfect. So when they come out of the oven, this is what they look like. Isn't that nice? That milk wash really does help with the browning. And I put a little bit of butter on the tops of my biscuits because you know, butter makes everything better. I wanted to show you kind of a close-up of what that looked like. You can see the little flecks of spice in the biscuits. All right, and here's the big reveal. Oh, y'all. They are tender and fluffy and fantastic. Now, here's something that's optional, but I highly recommend it is making just some honey butter to put on there. It brings out the sweetness of the biscuit. It's one part honey to three parts butter and then just a dash of cinnamon. But this, this is the way to go, I'm telling you. It's amazing. Yeah, so there it is. My honey butter my butternut squash sweet biscuit. Y'all, these are incredible. My husband tried them and he was like, oh honey, <laughs> where have these been? I really just want to show y'all how amazing our freeze dried food is. It's so versatile and you can make incredible food with Thrive Life ingredients. The biscuit is so tender and the flavors from the butternut squash, it's subtle, but it's there and it's just so beautiful. Mm. It's a fantastic biscuit. I think it would be good alongside anything that's savory. There's a hint of sweetness here, especially if you do the honey butter. Oh my gosh, it's just delicious. Butternut squash is on sale this month, so great time to order. Okay, guys. Mm. 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 Give it a try. Definitely give it a try. <laughs> well, all right. There you have it. Butternut squash sweet biscuits using freeze-dried food. How about that? All right. I will include my shopping link in the description box below as well as the full recipe. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all be blessed. And until next time, y'all take care and keep thriving.